Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of the most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Shason K1. It's an MP3, MP4 portable player with FM radio. I got this device for $28 on Amazon, and here it is. Now my wife saw the Mazua player that I got, and she wanted a player of her own, and she chose this one. It was less money, uh, and it has a little different design. So let's take a look at it before she takes it away from me. <laughs> uh, pretty basic box it came in. MP3, MP4, digital music player. There really is no mile number on the box. Pretty basic here. Nothing super special. Digital music player, actual formatted capacity. Okay, FCC, and a label. All right, let's go open this up, see what we get in the box. Okay, I think that's everything out of there. Let's just toss that to the side. Okay, we got the player. I'm gonna pop that out of there, set that aside. Let's see what else we get here. We got some stuff on the back. Here's just like a tray that's holding it. Okay. All right, so first thing first, we get the charging cable. It's a micro USB variety, and I'm gonna lower this down a little bit so we can zoom in on what we get. So this will charge the internal battery, which is rated at 800 milliamp hours. And you're going to get about a runtime of 40 to 50 hours on it. So I'm guessing with headphones. So there you go. It takes about a couple hours to charge the device. All right. Next, they give a pair of headphones. My wife likes these. These are different. Uh, I use ones like with the rubber cups. These remind me of the uh, iPhone style, or what they call AirPods or something like that. Um, these are nice, uh, pretty low tone, uh, real bassy sound to them. Okay, there you are. And then... We get a user manual. It's real simple. Uh, the English isn't perfect, uh, but you can figure it out. This just kind of goes over it. I'll kind of just flip it here and show you. Now it says compatible with Windows 98. That's amazing. Um, XP, Windows 7. I have Windows 7. I just plugged and played. There was no driver required. It just recognized it as a storage device. So I could just copy over music to the folder. Um, it will. It is supported on Windows 10. That question was asked and the supplier or the company responded. Okay, packing list. We talk about some of the functions here. Um, language, backlight timer. Okay, and then I think on the inside flap there's more. Let's see, playing the music. There's like selecting settings while you're playing the music. Uh, downloading your music to the card and to the uh, player. It's got built-in memory, which is nice. Uh, okay, so pretty basic. This is really simple. Get that. And then I went online and uh, on their product description and I copied this off here. So I'm going to show this to you. This kind of goes over some of the features. It's got Bluetooth 4.1. It's got that playback I was telling you about. Uh, 800 milliamp hour battery. Two, three hours of charge. Built in 8 gigabytes of memory. Nice. This is really cool. It supports up to 128 gigabyte uh, trans flash micro SD card. So that's pretty cool. It has the hi fi lossless sound. Beautiful. Fashionable design. We'll show you that. It's pretty awesome. That's why my wife liked this one. <laughs> Multifunction MP3 player. Here's your playback modes WMA, OGG, APE, Black, Wave. So it has all those supports along with, of course, MP3. It has video playback, uh, AMV, AVI. Um, you need a special tool. Uh, it's not high quality, so I just we're, we're just going to use it for music. So um, you can record with this, and I'll show you that. It has an FM radio. That's why I'm reviewing it because that's portable FM radio. Awesome. Uh, you can do pictures if you want. Uh, it has an ebook uh, reader, just like my Mazua did. Uh, folders, of course, alarm clock, stopwatch. Now, this is something new stopwatch, and so on. And so on includes a calendar. I'll show that to you. So there we go. Let's get to the player. Yeah, here we are. Okay, so it's pretty small. Again, wow. I don't know where I was looking for my Mazua. I kind of misplaced it, but uh, this uh, I have my Sony to show you the size difference. But pretty small and compact. I like it. So I'll take it out of this packaging here. It comes in this like, little glued zip case here. It's plastic. Let's go ahead and take that off. Probably a fingerprint sign, but it's okay. It has some scratches, but it's on the uh, protector. So we're just going to leave that protector on there for now until it gets bad enough, then we'll peel that off. So there it is. We'll go over dimensions of this. This is three and three quarter inches tall, 
one and five eighths of an inch across and a depth of three eighths of an inch. So it's very thin. As you notice, uh, it's got rounded, smooth corners. And that's what my wife liked about it. She didn't like my Mazua because it was too uh, hard edge, too, too many straight lines. She likes the smoothness of this and more pocket friendly, I'm guessing. Uh, that's why she chose it. And she likes the all black theme. So, yep. So there's that. Uh, size comparison. Yeah, so I brought out my old Sony um, that I use a lot. And you can tell this is getting pretty small. I think my Mazua is bigger. Um, but that gives you an idea. Screen quality. Uh, the screen quality on the Sony is a little bit better than the screen on here. Um, let me show you here. Let's turn this on. Let's see, wait, power button is right here. Turn this on just to show you the screen real quick next to this Sony. I guess they're fairly similar. This one might be a little bit more pixelated, just slightly there. But hopefully you can get a good idea. Representation is a little bit smaller screen. Okay. Go out to the side there. So we're going to talk about features of this, and then we'll go explore the menu. And I may use a different uh, backdrop color so we can see the screen good if I have an issue. So on the side here, you'll notice there is a switch. This is your lock switch. So you just flip this up, and it locks down the player. That's kind of nice. I really like that. So when you hit a button, um, it's telling you it's locked. <laughs> like the little padlock symbol. You can unlock it. It shows a little graphic of it unlocking. I think that's a little redundant. I wish it was just a little quicker, but um, yeah, it's, if you're in a hurry, <laughs> don't be with that. So uh, here is the a spot for the external uh, expandable memory, up to 128 gigabytes of a micro SD card. That's pretty awesome. There goes Trans Flash. Um, on the bottom corner here, you'll see there is a spot for a lanyard. They did not provide one. I wish they would because I love carry straps, especially in a small item like this. You're easily going to fumble it. But you can see you can pass through a little wrist strap there. On the bottom of the radio, let's get in the focus for you. There is a USB, a charging port. I'm going to bring some more light over here so you can see that better. And then we um, have the reset port here. There's in case your player gets a little funky. And then, of course, there's a microphone behind there. And then your headset for your headphones. A headphone experience, of course, on a player like this, it's fantastic. So no issue with hissing or popping noise or anything like that. It sounds really good with your play when you're playing your MP3s. On the side here, we have our record buttons, dedicated button for hitting the microphone and getting that started. And then we have your power on off right here. The back of the unit, we have a speaker, about a half inch, K1 mile number, QC passed, charging input, bunch of little symbols there. So pretty basic on the back. And of course, on the front, we have our screen. And then we have some uh, touch buttons here. We have a menu back, a menu key. When you're playing music, you'll access the menu that way. Uh, we have up and down for volume controls, scrolling through menus. Uh, we have pause, play, track forward, seek forward, track back, seek back. So pretty simple there and for tuning to the radio. So we're going to go ahead and set that down and we'll turn this on and uh, explore it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you'll see there's nine menu choices. You have music, so I can navigate here. So let's get over to there. Yes, yeah, it tells you where you're, what you're at. So it says music there. Next, you have video mode, ebook, Bluetooth, record as for microphone. So if you're audio, like if you're going to record a conversation. Now, I, I was playing with it a little bit. It's not super high range, but it'll pick up in kind of small room of conversation, but not huge rooms. Here we have setting. And I'm going to change this backdrop here because my hands are turning yellow. There we go. It's a screen thing. I think that's a little bit better. Okay. So uh, you have settings, and I'll show you that in a little bit. We have pictures, and we have the folder icon. I like using the folder a lot because I know where all my songs are, and I can choose to play albums from there, and that's what I tend to do with my player. So that's probably what my wife will do with hers. Okay. I guess I could try that or try this here. I'll go see how it goes. <laughs> so this is fun. So let's go ahead and uh, do Bluetooth. So uh, to do Bluetooth, you just select that. Hit play on the Bluetooth. It says, please wait. I have to make sure my radio's on. I've already paired it with uh, BT Field. And that's behind me there. It's Eaton Grundig radio. And I'm going to see if I can pair it with that. So play. We're going to try to connect. And then we'll play some music here. Okay, and then that little flashing icon changed color. It went to like a light green next to the battery level indicator. 
So we're going to exit that. You can turn the Bluetooth on and off, search for device, device list. And then what we're going to do is play some music. So what I want to do is I want to, you can go into the music mode. I'm going to show you that. The music mode. And yeah, my hands are changing color. It's part of these LCD screens on my camera. But uh, yeah, whatever. So all songs, you can see all different songs there. Um, artists. Hit artists here and I'll show you. You can see I got some old time radio there. And then we have albums and uh, unknown albums. It really isn't uh, set up for albums on this one. Uh, genres. So we should come up with something. So country, hip hop, old time radio. So if I want old time radio, I just go to that. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and record files. So it has a special folder for anything you record. So we're going to go ahead and go to my folder and we'll play some music here from YouTube. And there's a YouTube folder. So you got structured record folder, YouTube folder, radio shows, pictures, books, and there's like this, I think it's a text file in Chinese. I don't know what it is. So I'll probably have to take that off. It's no big deal. So we're going to go to YouTube and then we're going to try playing, see what it sounds like. So one thing I noticed with the Bluetooth, there's a little hesitation. So when you go to the next track, there's a two second delay. So if you have a way, turn this down. I remember back in the day, you could add a two second delay to your MP3 tracks when you were uh, making them. So if you have an ability to do that, it may work with this player. Um, if you're using Bluetooth, Bluetooth a lot, you might want to do that. So you can see it starts about two seconds in. Okay, so let's get an idea there. What I want to do now is disconnect. So I'm going to turn off the radio. It should let me, okay, should disconnect the Bluetooth. Okay, good. So now I can show you the speaker mode. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our folder and I'm going to play some old time radio. You can see it's seeking the device that it lost. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to radio shows. So I got some old time radio there. You can see I got nine files put on here which I'll probably have to take off because my wife doesn't really care for listening to them, but I love them. Let's let play this. Built-in speaker. Pretty clean cool. your breath while you clean your teeth and help stop tooth decay and luster cream shampoo for soft, glamorous, caressable hair. Bring you Our Miss Brooks starring Eve Arden. Independent. 
at Chevron gas stations throughout the West invites you to let George do it. <laughs> Countdown for blast off. X minus five, four, three, two, X minus one. You can seek, but it won't uh, play it, and you let go. Okay, so you get an idea how that works. Let's uh, show you the FM radio. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and this will be different. We're going to hook up the MP3 player to a radio, which I have right here. I have my GPX and use a patch cable to the headphone port. Oops, smack things around. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> so here we're just going to plug this in here, and this is plugged directly to my GPX radio right here is an external speaker source. So we're going to turn that on. And we're going to elevate this wire so we have some FM reception down in this basement here. Let me just get around this camera. Hanging on my light over here. There we go. All right, so FM. Yeah, you know, I love having FM radio. It's pretty cool. I'm glad they include it with these. So let's go ahead and find our FM radio. So we go over here and go up one. Play. Gary Ling Auto Group. Star 105.5. Okay, I gotta worry about music. Um, let's go up to, so you can tap to where you want to go, so you can step up. At 25,945, NASDAQ down 26 to 7528, the S&P down 6.5 to 2786. The U.S. economy isn't quite allowing President Trump a victory lap, but nor is it providing much fodder for critics. GDP growth slowed in the last quarter of 2018. So you can record this? Hitting the administration's Show you how to do that. Target for the full year. So if you want to the record the news, the reserve and market watchers can the menu button, hit the menu. That. A 2.6% so start FM recording. In the final three months of last year, We're going to do that. It has a little noise. I'll record. I I just lost reception a little bit. Real GDP went up 2.9% for the year. Unfortunately, for the president, that merely matches the best annual performance. There you go, a little better. So that's how you do the FM recording. It works better on a stronger station. We'll also have to wait another year at least to top Barack Obama's record and claim economic vindication for the tax cuts that followed for the earnings in 2018. Okay. So it looks like I haven't played with that a lot. It adds a little bit of noise to the recording uh, when you do the FM recording. Um, if it's a, if it's a weaker station, um, at least if I can find a stronger station to listen to. There's seek, press and hold. Okay, we'll wait here. Come on, Mr. Volume. Okay, and we'll see what we find here. Okay, we got music. To hold this down and get to a station I know. It's finding a lot. Okay. Watch EWTN anywhere but anytime with EWTN On Demand. Get On Demand access to more than 12,000 EWTN programs, including live shows and specials, all in one place, all free. Just go to EWTN.com forward slash On Demand. There's nothing to fill out, no memberships required, and no fees to pay. All you need is an internet connection, and you're good to go. EWTN On Demand. I've just bought a field and must inspect. Please, excuse me. Another said, I've just bought five pairs of oxen and I want to try them out. Please, excuse me. Another said, I just got married, so I can't come. The invitation Jesus speaks of in this parable illustrates the one God extends to the entire world. He invites each of us to the banquet of eternal life with all its related benefits. To say no to this invite is to say no to all God offers. Okay, <laughs> I was just testing the recording. So yeah, it does enter a little bit of uh, interference from the device to the recording, uh, but we'll play them and just double check that. You can uh, save your station 
Uh, you can clear the preset. You can auto tune. It'll save a bunch of stations. So you have, have a bunch of presets, which is nice. Um, if I'm recording, we'll click that. Uh, it shows the different ones there. We can play back the least the last one I recorded. It goes to, to exit the FM mode and bring us back here to play that. So let's go to the recording menu and we can play back the recording. So recording library. There it is. You should let us play it. The entire world. He invites each of us to the banquet of eternal life with all its related benefits. The uh, consumer spending, the traditional mainstay of U.S. economic activity, and some specials all in one place, all free. Just go to EWCN.com go. forward slash. In the pinch. As it speaks of in this parable, illustrates the one. Guaranteed that if you have a... Uh, a really strong station with music. It's going to sound wonderful on the FM recording. So let's go ahead and explore a few more things. Um, so we have um, we have a book. So you can go read a book on here. So I have Moby Dick. There we go. So you can read the book. Neat thing is it has a play feature. You can hit play and then you can set the timing anywhere from like 5 seconds, 3 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. It automatically flip the page for you. See, it's flipping the page for me as I read it automatically, which is pretty, I think that's pretty handy versus me having to hit the buttons. Uh, I like that. You can pause that and stop that from happening. Now you can also be playing the music while reading the book too. Okay, so we'll back up out of there. Okay, so what else we got here? So we had the movie mode, really, there's nothing on there. I mean, it had some kind of Chinese thing, but I took it off because I didn't want any copyright issues. Um, book mode, Bluetooth, I showed you. The recording mode's pretty basic. That was with the microphone, and you can change settings in there. And we'll go there real quick. And here you have record format. Bring that up. So you can record an MP3 or wave. And then once you pick which one, you get settings. Set the bit rate. You can set it from 32, 64, 128, or 192 for MP3. It's a beautiful thing. And uh, yeah, the, the different ones sound better for sure. Um, so we'll go ahead and exit this. And then uh, let's go ahead and go into the menu. So the menu has some cool things. Um, tools is a really fun one. So here we have a calendar. It's just showing the month and the day. And you can scroll through the year to see what's going on. Um, actually, let's see. Hit down. That's my volume. It's going to go by days there, it looks like. So I'm just going to wait for that volume thing. So here we just go through the days and the month. I guess it can just hold this down. It'll keep changing to the months there. So you can kind of see what's going on. It's, I like that. So you can see the calendar for the year. Okay. And then I thought was neat was a stopwatch function. Uh, especially if you're out walking or running, you can use this. You can start your stopwatch. And then uh, I think there's a lapse time and everything else. There's reset and stop. But you have five different uh, spots there for the stopwatch. Pretty cool. Um, and then you have alarm mode. Alarm mode's neat. Uh, you have multiple settings in there. Alarm on off, alarm time, alarm cycle, alarm music, alarm volume. So you can change quite a bit. The cycle's nice. You got once, daily, and work days. So on the weekends it won't go off. It's also handy. Um, so yeah, neat, neat little features. I like it. And then uh, let's see what else we got here. We got uh, sound settings. You can go in there and change. You got EQ. Um, CQ, you have rock, funk, hip hop, jazz, classical. And then my favorite, electronica, customize. So you can actually customize a five band equalizer. It's like you got bass, lows, mids, highs, treble. So there you go. Pretty fun. You can play with that and customize your EQ for the sound. So you can sculpt a really neat sound out of it. Uh, setting date and time, sleep timer. You have 1 to 99 minutes. Uh, display settings, you can change the uh, way it shows the brightness, the brightness timer, and the screensaver. So brightness timer, I think I'm at 30 seconds or always on. Okay. Or backlight timer, excuse me. And screensaver. We have digital clock, screen off or none. And then, uh, yeah, back that up. Slideshow settings, yeah, if you have pictures on here, which I don't really, uh, language, information, Format device, that's if you want to clear it off. And then back to factory settings in case something you know happens to your player and gets corrupted. So there you go. That's it there. I can't think of anything else to show you. We did FM radio. We did the MP3 player. We did the Bluetooth mode. Hooked up to an external speaker. Sounded pretty good. Uh, the buttons, like I said, you can go right to voice record by hitting this button. 
press and hold the mic button, and that one will bring up the record menu. And it's starting to record right now. And I don't know how it'll sound because I have the camera in front of me. And then we'll just stop. I can't want to hit the screen. It's kind of natural. Um, so let's go ahead and exit. Good save. Then we can see what that sounds like. Probably sounds not so great. <laughs> the library. It should be record record four, right? Or here we go. Record. It's its own little thing. Okay. Oh, I have mine. Because I have the camera in front of me. And then we'll just... The uh, consumer spending, the traditional mainstay of USA. And it's starting to record right now. And I don't know how it helps sound. Okay, that came out pretty good. That's about a foot away from the recorder, from the microphone, so not bad at all. So I think you could record uh, in a room and it would come out pretty nice. So let's go ahead and back that up. All right, so there it is. Let me unplug this. Unfortunately for the president, that merely matches the best annual Still playing. Under that of his predecessor, 2015, the Good president will have to wait another year at least. Specials, all in one place, all free. So there we go. Let's turn that down. All right. So the Mazua um, was my favorite. And now this one here, this Shaysun K1, um, I actually like the smooth corners. And I like it still has that same substantial feel. This feels heavy. It feels like you're holding something good in your hand. I mean, it's just, it's nice. The Sony, you can hear that. It's like a solid sound. The Sony, it's like a plastic shell. You know, it's, it's pretty basic and simple. It held up over the years, but, you know, it's got like a membrane style touchpad, but you have to actually click. It's got like clicky buttons underneath there. Uh, this one here is just like a, are touch sensitive, uh, but definitely all metal, which I like. And I like having an external speaker there that's very handy. Um, the only thing is that you can't, there's your screensaver, date and time. You can't uh, listen to FM radio with the speaker. You guys are probably wondering why. The only way to listen to FM radio is through headphones or through external speaker. And also on Bluetooth, you can't use the FM radio to Bluetooth. Just letting you know, it's one thing that's limited by. So. There you are. So there it is. The Shaysun K1 MP3 player. Um, is it worth 28 bucks? Yeah, it's worth 28 bucks. It has 8 gigs on there. Um, it's expandable to, with 128 gigs. Uh, it's mainly going to be used for an MP3 player and a walker, you know, walking around with. So it's perfect for my wife to put in her purse. I'm not worried about losing it because it's an inexpensive but well-made device. Uh, I would definitely recommend this product um, if you're not going to use it for Bluetooth. If you are, if you're going to use it for Bluetooth, um, you may have to do what I told you about uh, the MP3s. I don't know if you can still do that or not. Back in the day, like when you ripped a CD, you could add a two-second delay to each track. And that was nice. And now I understand this MP3 player has this like little delay with the Bluetooth. If it had that two-second, you wouldn't even notice it. So if you can add a two-second delay to the beginning um, of your tracks, um, it would make a big difference uh, with that. So just a little tidbit there. So if you enjoyed the presentation of the Shaysun K1, please give me a big like. I appreciate it. Always trying to find new devices, fun devices, uh, things that my wife orders. And I can sneak away from her and, and uh, film because it has a radio. It's a portable radio. I do love that. Um, you know, it's awesome. If you like MP3 players in general with features like this and you want to see more, uh, if I find out that I need more, and I probably will because they are fun to collect and have, I will... Uh, post them. So go ahead and hit uh, subscribe and bell icon to get notified of those new videos. And three, comment below what you think about this particular one. It'll be something you'd be interested in, the K1. Like I said, I think it's like 27, 28 bucks. Pretty inexpensive for what it is and what it can do. Pretty happy with it. Um, does quite a bit for the value. Yeah, rock on. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next episode. Take care and goodbye.